Hey guys, I have here the lithium iron phosphate battery that we reviewed in a prior video and we noted uh, smelled funny like it may have been leaking. And at the time of that video, I wasn't sure of the cause. We suspected some of the electrolyte may have gotten on some of the components in the factory and that perhaps this battery was actually good. Um, so this battery has been sitting outside for nearly two weeks now and I haven't really touched it other than disassembling some of the components like the bus bars in the top and I pulled the BMS off the side. Now at about the one week mark, I noticed it didn't smell anymore. So I was going to take it inside and run a capacity test on it. However, after handling it a bit, it did start smelling again. This bottom corner down here is where it seemed to be coming from. And after some further inspection, I noticed that this edge here is actually indented a little bit. It is not straight. I don't know what the deal is here, but once I started smelling it again, I threw it back out on the porch. So what I wanna do is peel back the heat shrink from here, and you can see I kinda of started to a little bit, uh, but then I stopped and said, okay, if I'm gonna do this, I might as well make it on video. And before we get to that, one point I did want to address as well uh, is I noted in that review video that I did not like the use of strapping tape with these rigid non-bendable bus bars. Now there were a few comments where people thought it was a non-issue because the movement would be minimal. However, I still strongly disagree. And I think this battery pack provides a perfect example of why. So if we look carefully at this cell and this cell, we can see they are not equidistant apart. And I noted that in the original video that there was a difference of 1 8 inch from the bottom to measuring the top. Looking at the terminals as well, you can see this one here is angled slightly to the left. This is a solid piece of aluminum. It's rigid, meaning it does not bend. There's no hump in the middle and it's not comprised of layers that allow it to bend. You can see I cannot bend it. So if I set this bus bar across these two terminals, on the left side of that white terminal there, it is not sitting flat on that terminal. So when you go to tighten down this nut, it's going to tighten flat and either the bus bar has to bend and it's most likely going to be this terminal that gives. I don't think this bus bar is going to bend. Like I said in the original video, it's less of a concern if this is fixed in a you know, a metal, a metal uh, fixture of some sort. Uh, but with this tape here, it still allows for slight movements, which again are going to be transferred down to this stud. So you can feel free to disagree if you like to, but whether or not we agree or disagree, the fact is I'm reviewing these batteries in comparison to other options on the market. And when I see 90 to 95% of other batteries have bus bars that allow for some sort of expansion and contraction, and then I have a battery with solid bus bars like this, that sets this behind all of the other options that are available on the market. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and pull the cell away from the pack. So we'll just slice the strapping tape on both sides here. Okay, so this is the cell I expect to be bad. And again, you can see this side is flat, or at least it appears flat. It's still possible it's just the heat shrink, but again, that's what we're gonna peel it back for and see if we can figure it out here. All right, there are no signs whatsoever of any liquid damage or residue or any denting at all on this battery. So that flatness there was just the uh, shrink wrap and you can see the edge is perfectly round and the corner is perfect corner. All right, so I even pulled off the top of the cell here, the, uh, not the top of the cell, the cover really. And as you can see, there is no damage, nothing's leaking, there's no residue. All right, now as I'm just saying that, I'm noticing here that there is a little bit of discoloration. It's like yellowish orange around uh, this hole that's been welded shut. And uh, I don't know what the purpose of that actually is, if that's where they fill uh, the electrolyte into the cell or what that is there. And it does have a very light smell. Now, just to compare this with the other cells, pulled it back on this one and you can see that color is not present. I pulled it back on this one and you can see there is a lot of whatever that yellowish residue is and it smells. And then I pulled it back on this one and you can see there is a little bit. That yellow stuff there is definitely what is creating that odor. Um, I can't say whether that's come out of the cell itself or whether that's gotten on the cell from something at the factory. I don't see any signs that this hole or whatever this is has been compromised at all actually. It looks like it's laser welded shut quite, nice, quite nicely. 
Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. You guys can take away that information as you'd like. I can no longer trust it. And I know that again, when comparing this to other battery packs that I have reviewed. And uh, again, since I cannot guarantee the condition of this battery, I'm not going to use it. And I'm likely going to have to uh, pay to recycle it because it's now considered damaged. Uh, so anyway, it is starting to rain. So I'm going to wrap the video here. Please let me know what you guys think. If you have any more questions or comments and don't forget to hit that like button before you go. And thanks for watching.